Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and you know what? I decided let's do another Let's Play, or a Let Me Play, uh, since I already did the original, or uh, the sequel to Golden Axe. I figured why not do the original, so let's go ahead and uh, get started on that. I think this time I'm going to play as the, uh, the Barbarian. I think that'll be interesting to see. So, uh, you know, this is the original game for Sega Genesis. Uh, I believe it's like a launch title or something like that. And it's not a bad game. It's not as good as 2, but, you know, and it's not to mention... Have you noticed the gameplay certainly seems a lot slower on this one? A lot slower. <laughs> and I'm getting raped right away, so... I better concentrate on my gameplay, guys. There we go. The enemies seem to be a little less health-wise, too. Like, they're... I don't know, they don't... Overall, they take less time to kill. And... They get more BS hits like that in, too. And as I mentioned, the death screams are a lot better. <laughs> and as well as these guys. These guys are better than they were in, uh... Too, I thought, you know, because they don't attack you and they just, you know, you just get to beat the shit out of them for whatever reason you want to. Yeah. For some reason, the animals attack a lot faster, just even though the overall action is slower. Not sure if that makes much sense, but whatever. There we go. Load up our magic. I think I'll actually have a full box of it. Yep. Sweet. That'll make dealing with the uh, first bosses a lot easier. I really like the soundtrack of this game. Like how I took one hit to kill. That's weird. So yeah, we're coming up to the Turtle Village. Just as the sign says. <laughs> uh, it's actually a pretty cool stage because you actually fight on top of like a turtle. It's interesting. So we'll use our magic. Deal the first blow to these uh, giants. I like the little touch they have with uh, hop it off the thing. But yeah, those guys are a lot easier than the Minotaurs in 2. Obviously, so. Come on, give me the magic. Ugh! I like the little, you know, animation whenever you jump. <laughs> so... Anyways, we're coming up against the uh, Death Adder, you know, because apparently he's like, I don't know, a mathematician. He can't come up with a more fearsome name than that, so. Oh, you can do that thing I was, if you time it just right, you can do that like indefinitely with a little butt with your hilt to the sword or with any weapon. Or, but, you know, you gotta time it just right, though, because otherwise he can do that, like he just did there. And sometimes you can just do that, too. I don't know. This game's a little buggy compared to the, uh, sequel, obviously, so... This is a nice little spot to hide. So you can't get rush attacks by that guy right there. Like that. There we go. Uh, I don't know what happened to him. He didn't die. But, okay, the game's let me continue on. Those little children are screaming. Sticking with this little spot here makes you safe from getting, you know, surprise attacks out of nowhere. Ah! Take every little cheap shot I can. Makes the game a lot easier. Why not, you know? Ah! One thing that definitely about this game is the sound effects just suck compared to, uh, you know, Gold Axe 2. Except for the death screams, of course. Gotta have the death screams. There we go. Yeah, 
Yep, and the game's complete with uh, pallet swap enemies. Use that. <laughs> I don't want to mess with these people, so let's just do it. Oh yeah, that uh, the end of stage two. This game goes by pretty quick, obviously. So, and the green guys, you know, they're like the opposite roles. You know, they give health in these ones, so. So there we go. Got our magic replenished and we're ready for the uh, third stage. So yeah, we just rode a giant turtle. As you can tell by the uh, turtle, obviously. Gotta be careful. The enemies move more erratically in this one. So it's harder to predict their actions. See, now I lost the dragon because of their erratic behavior. Look at, look at, you see how she's moving? Like, she's like going like this, you know. Little dance in action. I gotta make sure I do this right, because it's kind of hard to jump without running. There we go. There we go. Come on, little jerk. Okay. So we got a bunch of lemon laughing at us, sir. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> uh, I guess they eventually got tired of me just sitting there. So they're finally coming after me. There we go. Make the combat fighting against one of them a lot easier. What's up with it? What's up with their movement? Bitch. Ah, what the heck? Talk about bad collision detection. That's right, I'm on my rant for collision detection again. Come on, bring it on. Let's make you a lot easier to deal with. Come on. Ah, you bastard. Right upside the head. Uh, what the hell? Come on. What the hell? Stop doing that. Like, seriously, that, that didn't make any sense. That little kick heat mover mover he did. He just... It totally went against the rules of the game. Oh, come on. I didn't do that. I don't know why. These emulators, man, they're not good with controls. They really suck. I'm, I mean, I don't know why I'm struggling against these guys. See, th they don't do that. Like, when you play it on the Sega Genesis version, like, I mean... I mean, I, I, every time I played it on Sega Genesis, I never had that happen to me, so... <clears throat> I don't know, maybe I just got lucky. I should use my magic, of course. Cost myself two lives on those giants. At this rate, I probably won't beat the game. We'll see, though. I'll do my damnedest, too. I don't know why. This one's just a lot tougher than two to me. Hmm. Bastard. There we go. Try to stick exclusively to special attacks here. Oh, maybe it's just because I'm not playing as a dwarf. That's like my usual guy, so. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Make this a lot easier fight to deal with. Oh, come on. <laughs> See that maneuver? <laughs> you know. What's up with this guy? <laughs> You know, if I was walking around with a big sword like that, I wouldn't be walking around just dodging attacks, you know? I'd be, like, actually, like, trying to hurt you with that sword. I mean, that's just my style, I guess. 
I mean... There we go. Makes them pretty easy to deal with, though, at least, I guess. That's kind of cool. I mean, when you can hit him, fuck! What's this guy's deal? There we go. Yeah. So I'm gonna do him is move up and down. It's like the ultimate boss tactic in this game. You can't attack him. <laughs> so there we go. Finally done with the third stage. And, yeah, the health guys, you assholes, you could have been there, like, I don't know, later. <laughs> you just had to be assholes, though. There we go. Oh no, we must dare the fiend's path to reach the castle. Guess what? We're gonna be on top of this time. There we go. Make these guys a lot easier to deal with. <laughs> uh, well, I'll play it seriously. Oh! Oh yeah, the dummy eye, of course. Who could forget that? I love the glitches. You gotta make the game easy for yourself, you know? That's, all, that's what it's all about. Okay, I'm not fucking with you guys today. <laughs> you guys will see soon enough, you know. If I let the skeletons come at me, you'll see. Okay. Just makes it so much easier. And so much more boring, I'm sure. But you gotta spam what you can. Oh, you come on, you bastard. What the? He's freaking on speed or something, you know? What the hell? There we go. Fortunately, I can't use this on this actual fight. I actually have to fight now. It's kind of a bummer. I'm all about cheating to win. But I have to actually demonstrate a little bit of skill now. There we go. This is not a real boss fight. This is just a bunch of regular enemies you gotta fight here. Just kind of like stage two. That's one trick that does work against the skeletons, as long as you're not surrounded by them. Fuck! Fuck! Fucking rape, man. I'm not fucking with you guys. Take that. For some reason, enemies are, like, more attuned to jump attacks in this game. I'm not sure if the if Sega decided to tone it down for Gold Next 2 and make it actually beatable or what. But yeah, I already used to continue. I'm not even really that far in the game. I'm only... This is the halfway point, basically, so I'm, I'm in trouble. I can tell you that right now. I'm in trouble. Just freaking die. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, at least the health guy will finally have some use on this bonus stage if I can hit him. There we go. There we go. Nice bonus stage. So, halfway through it now. The fiend's path was a great, great eagle. Yeah, that's what we were on top of, guys. And yeah, now the final battle begins, and then we got three more stages to go with. So it's not really the final battle. There we go. Much easier to deal with. <laughs> I'm 
trying to walk over here as soon as I can so she can't rush attack me. Or, I guess she just disappears off the map and I don't have to worry about her at all. That works too. There we go. Okay, you freaking jerks. You want to die? I mean, seriously, these guys are just like... They're really taking it up. Let me hear. Thank you. I mean, need this dragon to fight these guys. They have like twice the health of the level 3 boss. And there's two of them. So... What is down Phoenix to do, guys? <laughs> when the enemies don't want to line up in your plane, gotta deal with it, I guess. There we go. Come on. Alright. That made it a lot easier. So we're here to fight Death Adder now. We're going to try to leave a couple of potions lying around to make them uh, a little bit easier to to utilize later on. Grab these two, and they'll, they'll save us three for later purposes. Ah! They don't disappear, by the way, in case you're wondering. Ah. Stiff controls compared to the second game, I swear. <laughs> that guy's just dancing to himself there. Ah! Why are they acting like this? I mean... This is worse than the original Double Dragon arcade game, like, as far as the way they move. That game had the same kind of movement, but it wasn't as... erratic. Ah! Jeez, these guys are... <laughs> what am I supposed to do about that? I mean, he just attacks me as soon as I get up. Come on. Bring it on, big giant guy. This guy will take a while to kill, I'll admit. So. If I can show you the little hill trick, I would, but... You know, I don't know. It's just not working out today for me. Ah! <laughs> and it's funny. He sounds like a girl when he dies. There we go. Come on, Death Adder. Bring your ass out here. Okay. There we go. Now we got the big guy. Slam with my magic spell. You know, level four. Ah! You freaking skeletons! Just leave me alone for one second! <laughs> ah! Die! Freaking assholes! Just die! I mean, these skeletons, they just... They don't die, you know? They're not even color-coded anyway. They're just regular skeletons I'm struggling with here. Wait, are these skeletons invulnerable too? Oh, okay, good. Let's say they better not be. Yeah, thought I had enough time to to do that attack, but guess not. Okay, now we'll just spam this attack for massive win whenever the button combination works. Cause that guy's kind of a pushover.
That's retarded is the text bubble makes it look like the guy's talking. He's like, thank you for rescuing me, you know, even though you guys are the ones chained up. <laughs> uh. Oh. You can tell, I guess they slightly move the arrow like three pixels so that you can see that who's talking, apparently. Though I think it's personally pathetic, but... There we go. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. The endless hilt action. <laughs> Alright, gotta get running. There we go. You will not knock me off, you stupid skeleton. Ah! Well, it worked for a while. Yeah, see, I don't do it to the skeletons, because they do that shit. These guys are... I don't know, they're just tricky. I hate them. There we go. Made them people a lot easier to deal with. I knew he was going to do that, but I was just mashing my button like an idiot. Yeah, these guys could not have came at a better time. Now I have to try to spam my magic while I'm fighting a skeleton. There we go. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, keep bringing the magic out. Hell yeah. I mean, I don't need any more, but whatever. Works for me. <laughs> what an idiot. Come on, bring it on, green emerald statues or jade statues, I guess. Right, you guys be jade because that'd be I don't know, I I'm not a gym cutter. <laughs> I'm not the dwarf. Okay. Ah, the trick to these guys is, yeah, you gotta separate them. I was hoping that guy was gonna walk off, but I'm not that lucky, I suppose. Obviously not. Okay, so I don't know if that means only have one credit left, really, or not. I'm not sure. There we go. Now we got the epic fight between me and this guy. <laughs> it's the fight of the century. So anyways, uh, just to flood the website again, even though you're watching on it probably, uh, www.rejectthegamers.com The social networking site for gamers. You know, you can, you know, just chat and watch videos and bitch on forums and you know, all the good stuff you expect on a good website. So, that's what the site's all about. That's what I want you guys to check out, you know. So, yeah, here's the uh, final battle. Go ahead and lay our magic attack out, just to get some early damage. I'm not sure what kind of DPS that has, but... That asshole does that whenever he hits you with his freaking axe! What are you supposed to do about that, you know I mean? He's just a freaking asshole. It, those guys are even worse. This is why they're the most annoying <laughs> enemies in the game. I mean, it's not bad enough that this guy casts magic spells every time he hits you, but you have to deal with his minions that never die, by the way. Oh, oh hey, I, I get to miss, but he gets to hit. That's really fair game. And he's moving perfectly just so that the skeletons can protect him. And, yeah, they get to do that combo shit, too, you know, like... They're the only enemy in the game that can do that. I'm probably not gonna beat this now. And, yeah, they are invincible. I can attack them all day, and they're not gonna die. 
you just have to play one of those occasional jump attacks. And you have to break combo, too. You cannot let him get you. Like that. But, yeah, I mean, they don't even... See, they're, it wasn't even the same plane as me. Usually in this game, every other enemy has to be in the same plane as you to hit you. But not the skeletons. Oh, no. Their attack has, like, some kind of wit or something. I don't know. This guy's kind of a pussy if you just keep him cornered like this. Just the freaking skeletons. <clears throat> They're so terrible. Yeah, this LP is, like, all about the skeletons, basically, you know. It's not if you could beat Gold Nexus, it's if you could beat the skeletons. Everything else is a piece of cake. See, I can't even finish a combo on this guy without them gang raping me. Come on, get it! <laughs> that was so lucky. Now I have to move because, yeah, because the skeleton's on that side. See, this guy hasn't even attacked. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't have to, though. I mean, if I had these bodyguards, <laughs> I'd be, like, invincible. Gosh. There we go. Now we got the skeletons where we want them for now. There we go. No rush attacks. Good, good. I did jump game. Just so you know, I did I did press the jump button. Okay, good, good. I was worried, game. I was w wondering that you were going to rape me too bad to let me win. But... Okay, come on. Def there we go. The asshole dies after I die. You know, this three continues. So that was a victory, guys. A straight up victory. Now the people will be able to live. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because this guy, that's all. He obviously was just running around killing people. I mean, there wasn't peasants running around on stage, too. You know what I mean? They weren't getting killed, obviously, so. <laughs> now prepare for a feast, a grand feast, to repay your act of bravery and deeds of courage. Hmm. <laughs> Now, who's talking? There's no little chat thing, you know? I mean, nobody's talking there. My score's gonna be shitty due to all my deaths, but whatever. Like I said, it's not as good as the original game. It's still pretty good. If you have a choice, I would actually play the arcade version. You can download an Xbox Live, because it's better graphically, better sound. The gameplay seems a little less buggy. But, you know, this one has its benefits. It's it's nice. Actually, uh, as an added bonus, guys, after the credits, uh, I'm going to show you the dual mode on this. See how far we can get with that. The dual mode just pits you up against a bunch of enemies. and It's kind of like a... If you remember Double Dragon for the NES, it's kind of like that, I guess. It, it's cool. Purple long moan. <laughs> Yeah, I call those things a long moan. Long mower. Yeah. Bang. See, it tells you stats, which it doesn't in Gold Next 2, so that's kind of cool. Apparently the red ones are better than the shadow ones. I don't know why. That freaking bastard. I hate you, skeleton. I hate you. You're terrible. So is that 680 pounds, like, each? Or between the both of them? I mean, they're obviously fat bastards, but... Sergeant Malt and Sergeant Hop. <laughs> Where's Sergeant Barley at? Mm. 
don't know, those knights just aren't tough in this one. They're, they're a lot easier in this game. I never I never struggled with them. I only had trouble with, like, the one pair of knights at the end. Chicken leg. <laughs> uh. Yeah, the dragons are pretty awesome. I didn't even use the red dragon, but their attack's even better because it's long range. So, yeah, if you can get the red dragon, definitely do that. Yeah, belongings pot. <laughs> There's our pot dealer there, the blue thief. Even though it should be the green thief, technically, but... <laughs> yeah. Dang, she's got some little titties there. Look at that. Yeah, see? Ah, <laughs> hmm. oh, so cute. Death Adder Jr. When did I find him? I don't remember him. I don't know, that's probably a stage tree or some shit. No, stage tree was a silver knight. When did I fight Death Adder Jr.? I don't remember him. Imagine that, a person that's eight foot two, that's freaking huge. Uh, yeah, see how Tyrus Flair doesn't have the waist because women don't like their weight revealed. <laughs> I don't know, so she's probably about the same weight as this one chick, so I'm sure. Maybe a little bit lighter. Because she doesn't have the armor. Where's the queen at? I think uh, Death Adder made her his bitch. That's my guess on it. You know what? We don't give a shit about no credits, or we can't skip them, so we have to watch them, so. <laughs> now, why is he holding his club like that, for one? Was Sega that lazy to not make him hold a club like he would a baseball bat? You know, I mean, obviously this is where they're going with here. It's kind of like the effect they're going for. Yeah, thank you, Chizuk. You uh, really made some great visual effects. You know, and so did you, Rocco. I mean, what kind of names are these? Chizuk, Rocco, <laughs> Nanyoko, or Nakyoko? Decky. Oh, yeah, Decky made the Deck and Tunes. Looks into that. S2. <laughs> I mean, are these like computers that work? Uh, there, there's the first real person, Yang Watts. Good job, Yang Watt. I know who to thank for this game now. Vinyl Boy. I doubt that's a real person. <laughs> I mean, were, I mean, were the developers of this game, like, worried that gamers were going to come find them or something? <laughs> Is that why they put all these fake names? I mean, Ying Watt's probably not even a real name, because of Watt. I mean... Yeah. So, Sugu, uh, he made the English messages. <laughs> Good job, Team Shinobi. You know, it's been a long time since Sega even used the team terms. I think Sonic Team's the only one that's left now. Huh, so if you just use one magic potion, it comes... Yeah, every person uses one magic potion, it comes with the end logo. 210, hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. I remember that. Hey, it's still an A. That's not too bad, I guess. But look at that. You have to get over 100... <laughs> to get the A++. That's crazy. Alright, so, yeah. Excellent game. I, I like it, just not as good as the second game. So we'll go ahead and try this. I'll use a chick for this one. That way is everybody's been used. <clears throat> I don't think it even really matters who you use. 
Her attack's the same as the guy. The dwarf's the only one that's different. He's got this weird thing with his... He's got like a rolling axe thing or something. I don't know, it's retarded. Completely. The scores are kind of weird because, like, you, you get scored, but it's not just... It's actually based on the time, like how quick you defeat the enemy. So you have to be quick in the duel, too, you know? Although you don't lose if uh, you run out of time. It's just you can't defeat him in time. So, obviously... There we go. So yeah, that's the goal of the duels. You gotta, you gotta be quick. <laughs> it's really easy to be quick because you get this guy as long as you get him off the dragon first. There we go. See, now you can see what this dragon does. Yeah, you can just... If you're one-on-one -on -one against the enemy, you can't be beat. You know, it's just awesome. Oh, well, there's my favorite en enemies right there, the skeletons. Are they gonna rape me? <laughs> Only time will tell. Yeah, see? They gotta be tricky. They can't fight fair. So we gotta use the uh, special attack. That's the best purpose of it is against the skeletons. Because of that slight delay, and they just walk right into the sword before they can attack. It's it's awesome. These guys are a little bit tricky too, but you know they're not too bad. They fight kind of generically, but you know I wouldn't mind having an army of those guys behind me back. There we go. Easy enough. So now we gotta fight two chicks with a dragon. This fight can be slightly tricky. If you're not quick with it. You gotta knock both of them off before you can even dare board a dragon. Or else, uh... You'll get smacked around pretty easily. There we Ah! See? That's why. Because they'll just psycho attack you like that. Now you can do that to easily deal with them. <laughs> but yeah, I took damage in the process, so... This duel ain't going good so far for me. But I don't care if I lose. Just to show you guys what it's about, you know. I know I didn't show you the goal next to one. Maybe I'll do that in a future video. There we go. It's kind of tough to deal with three guys at once, you know. That was weird. I've never seen that happen before. There we go. I didn't do it in time, though. <sighs> Those damn skeletons, I swear, man. I mean, if anybody can figure out a strategy better than what I've came up with for the skeletons, I'd love to hear your comments on it. I really would. Because look at that. I mean, you can't... I was in the middle of the attack animation, and he just instantly whips that sword out. Like it ain't nothing. Because he's just gotta be an asshole, you know. So now we're finally, uh, fighting something slightly tougher. This fight might, might struggle with a little bit. You know, I barely even used the running attacks when I play this time. But it works good against these giants. It's effective. See what I mean? effective against these guys. A little too effective, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Whatever, though. I'll take, I'll take every chance I can. Now, we know these guys aren't exactly a tough enemy to fight, so we shouldn't struggle too much here. As long as 
he decides to move correctly and not just run away. <laughs> this guy loves to run away, you know, he, that's his main strategy. You know, he's got a shitload of armor, but that's the best strategy he can come up with is just to avoid my attacks. Like he's some Muhammad Ali or some shit. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Here we go. Fortunately, they don't do any rushing attacks. They just walk at you. I don't know. If anybody ever has trouble with the knight, now you know the strategy. It's actually quite easy to deal with this guy. He's got to kind of weave in there. Well, look at that chick's ass, you know, that's what you got to do. Yeah. Too bad you can't, you know, because enemies in Double Dragon were able to, like, have their back face in the camera and walk up and down. Too bad you can't do that in this game with this chick's ass. That'd be cool. There we go. The guy that finds us... It defines. Decides to finally die. So, uh, the big guys, of course, again, and, uh, you know the strategy, guys. So, uh, just use the same strategy. And you shouldn't have too much trouble. It's all a matter of, you know, being able to space them out far enough to use that strategy, though. There we go. <laughs> Works great, doesn't it? There we go. Um, I think this is actually the last fight, these gold knights. You know, like I said, you know, the gold knights are a little bit trickier when you're fighting two of them at a time. Because usually your your first instinct to uh, you know stop a you know being attacked from behind is to use a jump attack, but you know, having to deal with two of them does make it a little bit more challenging. There we go. Yeah, you can always uh, do that mid attack. That's always kind of cool. Ah, freaking bastards! Can Down Phoenix defeat these guys? Probably not. Down to my last heart. Less heart, I mean, come on, what's it, Zelda? Fuck! Well, I couldn't do it. I didn't have the little pit to knock him off on, so... So, let's see what we ranked. Probably real shitty, because, uh... Oh, no 93. <laughs> Apparently I did really good. So, uh... You know, I mean, I only got an A in the game for beating the game, but I can't beat the duel and I get an A++++, so... Well, I guess that's it. That's, uh, that's Gold Next 1. That's, that's the entire game. That's all there is to it, you know, so... Uh, with that, guys, Down Phoenix out.